Welcome to Madeline Simon's Children's Stories. They are books from Poppy the Toucan series. And I am the author, and Michael Sherman is the terrific illustrator. I am proud to announce that I will now read Poppy's Playful Party. Poppy, a gorgeous and colorful toucan, desperately tried to grip the slippery moss-covered branch with her blue claws in the Mungo Bungo jungle. She was a bit down, lonely and bored. She loved to te tap her feet to the rhythms she imagined, but she was tired of tapping alone. Not the kind of bird to be a sour beak. She preferred to act, act and fix her troubles. But what could she do to feel less lonely? She could go to visit, visit her best friend Margie, but she did that yesterday. She could make her way over to the stream to meet some new friends, but she was in the mood for something a little bit more festive. That's when it hit her. A dancing, a dancing. Thoughts of a dance swirled in her head. But who would come, she thought. Everyone must be invited, that's for sure. Yes, this will be the perfect way to brush up feeling down and blue. The two cons spread the word far and wide to animals all over the Mungo Bungo jungle. Monkeys swung in from the tall branches. Lizards and snakes scurried over rocks and a group of jaguars stalked in quiet and strong. Margie, a full grown elephant and her son Felix agreed to watch from below and catch any falling dancers before they went splat. As the dance began, Lily Fast Feet scattered the leaves with a stunning fast foot shuffle. Pieces of leaves floated down to the elephant's delight. But Sticky Fingers, an often troublemaking howler monkey, wasn't so pleased. He let out a howl because Lily Fast Feet was scrambling his lunch. But Blue Sloppy Feet, another toucan, had the bad habit of losing his footing, but was fortunately saved by the elephants below. Poppy tried to wiggle and shimmy her wings to the music, but was too distracted to say the least. She was mad. Not everyone was dancing along nicely. Sticky Fingers kept throwing his powerful long tail to trip and knock the dancers off their branches. His troublemaking friends howled and played nasty jokes on the others. Everyone started to become nuts mad and frustrated at this group, who, by the way, was laughing continuously. The lizards streaked so fast across the branches, they scared the dancers half to death. Feel Good Feather screeched so loud, the others couldn't even hear the music. Even the jaguars started to pay attention. Poppy, who always had good ideas, tried her wings at diplomacy. In the sweetest voice, she said, Sticky fingers, your moves are super fine and you all have terrific rhythm and fabulous reach. But can you please not interfere with anyone else? The troublemakers let out gigantic howls, croaks and roaring cries in response. Everyone from miles around squeezed their eyes shut and closed their ears. Poppy held up her wings super high. Please stop, she tried to yell, but the noise was just too loud. 
Then Flash, a hungry jaguar, growled loudly and everyone immediately quieted down. Even the butterflies stopped mid-flight. Very softly, Poppy said, instead of all dancing at the same time, the different groups of friends could dance one group at a time. Everyone looked around to see the other's reaction. We don't have to crowd each other and step on each other's claws, she continued. This way, we can share a big applause after each group is done. They weren't thrilled and rolled their eyes, but Sticky Fingers put up his little paw in the air. You have to promise no one is going to laugh at our dance moves and make us feel self-conscious. Poppy realized the cause of the trouble. They were afraid of being made fun of, and she saw, swore everyone would be super polite and kind. We're all here to celebrate our different styles, Poppy said to the group. And besides, it would be mean and uncool to make fun of anyone. Sticky fingers, the lizards, feel good feather, and the rest of the group looked to one another before they started to cheer. Flash the jaguar smiled, showing teeth. Even the lizard jumped up on his little hind legs and did a swirl until he fell over a bit dazed but happy. This turn of events made the Mungo Bungo jungle animals happy. Poppy no longer felt lonely with lots of new close friends. She adored solving problems because it made her feel like a very good toucan. The end. I am now going to read fun facts about jaguars. Jaguars are big cats that live in Central America, Southern US, and Mexico in swamps, tropical jungles, scrublands, deserts, wetlands, flooded forests, which means they live just about anywhere. They can run 50 miles an hour, jump 10 feet high, weigh approximately 212 pounds, can be six feet long, and live for 12 to 15 years. They are known to have the strongest bite of any big hat with an amazing 2,000 pounds of force. Jaguars love the water and are terrific swimmers. When they're done with their day's activities, they like to rest or sleep in trees hanging limply from a wide branch. Not picky eaters, they choose from 87 different types of food, including plants and fruit, such as avocados and a wide variety of meats and fish. Jaguars have an outstanding amount of vocalizations, including snarls, growls, roars, grunts, purrs, and a menacing sounding hiss. Baby cubs bleed and meow. Thank you so much for listening.